Okay, uh, so yeah, welcome to another uh, Aether Raids uh, offense video. Um, so as you can see, we have a decent amount of Aether there. Uh, if I get the next, so if I get perfect on the next one, we'll be at 240. Um, so well, I'll be at 140, and then I'll do another for 100, and all I have to do is get one of those pots, uh, and then I'll be at 50 left over, so I'll have a half one afterwards. So um, yeah, let's see, hopefully I can... Uh, uh, do some good on here. Um, let's go take a look at our. <clears throat> let's take a look at our. Uh, what's going on here? So we're in tier twenty-four. We still have like two and a half attack, two and a half full attacks going so far. So so far, no, uh, not too bad. Uh, our defense actually did pretty well. I think um, you know we're in top here, which sometimes doesn't happen with this team. Uh, but yeah, so we're going up there. Um, Yes, yeah, so let's let's take a look and see what happens. Uh, how many escape ladders do we even have, though? Uh, let's see. We have well, we have four. So I only used it once this this uh, this season, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, so let's see what's going on here. Uh, already, I can tell this is going to be kind of annoying. Um. So really, the only the main threat here is going to be Lysithia. Yeah, because she's never really she never she she's the problem with Lucina is she's kind of old now, so like her stats aren't as strong, especially because like legendary Crom is out there. People are building for legendary Crom, so when you run into like a Lucina, it's kind of like not that big a deal. Um, but, yeah, let's see, yeah, so, so this isn't that bad, um, I guess, so yeah, she, she's good against, uh, close range, but, uh, since I'm using Felicia, it's not that big a deal, uh, and all their HP is kind of low, the biggest problem I'm gonna have, obviously, is this, like, Scythia hitting me with a, um, turn one Moonbow, she's not gonna double me, but the problem is, like, can I survive that? Uh, that along with, uh, obviously, that along with um, the four blaze, uh, of course. Do they have a full infantry pulse? So that's, uh, she has 37, so she's the lowest. So yeah, I think she's got the full infantry, yeah, they got the full IP pulse. Uh, all these are going to reduce her. So, so hers is fully charged, but fortunately, um, I can just wait a turn and then um, reduce everybody's um, little uh, charges. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I should be fine. So yeah, this is like, this is why Infantry Pulse is so powerful. Um, you can just charge your three turn Dragon Fang and secure the kill. Because sometimes like, like Moonbow is good and all um, for, for like securing kills and such. Um, I mean, nobody argue that Moonbow or Glimmer, depending on you know what scenario you're kind of preparing for. Uh, I think no one will argue that one is is, is necessarily bad, but like... Sometimes they don't always get the kill, so having the like the guaranteed almost with like a bigger charged special is, is always going to be better for you. Um, but yeah, fortunately for me, uh, they ha <clears throat> they have they're all very close to each other. So she like here here's a scenario. So like if if I had since I have so I want to put Felicia here. I'm gonna hit him. He's not gonna die, and hopefully I don't die on the you know he doesn't kill me. Oh, he's got Gale Force, so yeah, I probably won't die. Um, the the point I want to make here is that I'm going to put Felicia here, hit him, and the the Pulse Smoke is going to hit her and her because they're, they're within two spaces of him. Am I saying that maybe one of these two should have been put here? Not necessarily. I mean, I don't know what, what went through this person's head making this. I'm not going to say their setup here is bad. All I'm saying is that like for the future, it's something you might want to consider. Maybe knowing that uh, infantry uh, Pulse Smoke is out there, you might want to like put the people who you really want to guarantee that um, snipe on a little further back, because like as you can see, like here she can hit here, but her she can still hit here too. Of course, now she she's using the the ground orders and the wings of whatever aerobatics and stuff like that. But you can, if you just put her here and she gives ground orders to her, then she can do the same thing and 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 snipe here, right? Uh, so it's just something to consider, uh, like. Maybe, you know, keep in mind the, the, the range of the infantry pulse. Um, so originally I was going to um, 
just put Felicia here, and I think I'm still going to do that. But maybe there's some usefulness to, like, Let's see, do they have any visible buffs? I don't think so, right? It's all the pulses. That's all they care about. Yeah. We'll take a look at their, um, and their fortress is not plus one. Okay, so I should, it should be relatively not too bad for me. Okay, I was, I was gonna think of, I was thinking about like, uh, just kind of like maneuvering around, maybe like coming up this side here, and then maybe trying to snipe her, and then move him down here and do that. But I think uh, we, we're at such an advantage. I think maybe I'm just gonna like straight up uh, hit bike here and uh, do whatever from there. Um, let's see, they've got two dancers. Bike, unfortunately, I'm not sure what the Gale Force is for, because Bike is never good on the follow-up. Like, I don't know. Bike is not good at, uh, sort of, player-controlled, or, you know, AI-controlled. AI-controlled. He's not good on his own turn, I guess is the, is the point I want to make. He's he's good at, like, just letting the enemy run into him, but if he has to attack people, it's usually how he dies. Uh, but in this case, it, yeah, I think we'll be fine because I mean, this it's so secure; it's not even funny, right? Because now uh, I can just like wait till this bolt tower triggers, and he's down to eight HP. And of course, Felicia's just going to kill him, and Felicia's going to sit here and tank all of this uh, because, for one, she's tankier now thanks to the the these buffs, uh, and for two, I'm going to have um, they're going to all be debuffed, so that's pretty good. Uh, I just need to make sure I take these beforehand. Because once, because the problem with this team is going to be that once Felicia's in position, she's going to like sweep the whole team. So, usually, uh, yeah, she probably is going to sweep the whole team. No one here can take damage that she's just going to dish out. Look at this. This is the perfect Felicia, right? Can you imagine this? Like, <laughs> I wish I could see this every every day, man. <laughs> wow, like, you get four. You get four to everything, right? Thirty nine. Yeah, you get four to everything. That's pretty crazy. Um, okay, maybe not four to everything. But like, I mean, come on, like at least two more to all her stats would have been beautiful. Which, which, right, is why I like Felicia so much because I'm really, really hoping she gets a resplendent ult. I kind of doubt she is considering, I mean, nobody built her, but no one, you know, no one builds her. No one's really asking for it other than like three people. Um, but damn, it would be really nice to have a resplendent ult. Just, just a, a boost of two to every single stat would be like incredibly helpful to her. Um... But yeah, so, you know, like I said, it is what it is. I mean, we've already got a plus three to every stat from the uh, the flower, so it's kind of hard to complain. But, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, <laughs> you always want more. Um, yeah, so let's go Let's go take a look here. Got to get everybody in position and start sniping these towers uh, as soon as I can. Um, okay. Let's, let's see what, what's hitting me. Uh, nothing is hitting me so far. For some reason. Oh, okay. That's because we haven't started the turn yet. Okay. I'm gonna keep her there with her. See, if I hit this, will she get hit back? Well, it's kind of late for that now, I guess. Okay, so let's see what happens now. Okay, so I am getting hit by... For minus two attack speed. So I'm getting hit by the Bright Shrine. S somehow, I think. It's kind of interesting. 54 and 50. It's 104. You'd think someone else could reach that. That's 104 as well, but she's not getting hit by the Bright Shrine for some reason. What do you have? Well, obviously she doesn't have it very high. What is this, 50? So this is 100 and 116, right? Oh, it's because of the, uh, damn it, the stupid tactics, I think. I think it was this, right, that boosted me over the 6? Yeah, that gave me 6 over. Damn it, I hate that thing. I, I keep forgetting to take it off of her, because um, I, I mean, it's useful other places, I just don't like using it here. Damn, that's annoying. Uh, well, let's just pop it, I guess. I don't know, there's no real reason not to. Am I getting hit by the Dark Shrine, too? I am, so... Important to keep that in mind. 
Um, Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, so now it's time to nuke him. Um, 22 is not as much damage as I would have wanted. What's going on here? So 36. Yeah, I don't know. He's just really tanky, obviously. Um, the first attack is reduced by 40%, which is quite a lot uh, in, the, in the scheme of things. Um, one thing I can do, which is might suck because, let's see. Yeah, I, I need to take this pot here. Uh, but one thing that could make this a lot more guaranteed is maybe like put her here come over here dance her, like kill him dance her put her here and then like snipe Lysithia and then the rest of these should be uh, not so big a deal um, I think I might just do that See, look, all their things are boosted by, by one, so that whole infantry pulse thing was just, like, done in by the fact that, uh, have, that I'd have pulse smoke on me. Uh, so it's kind of a failure from the beginning. Okay. Let's get over here. Yeah, hopefully she doesn't die, or hopefully uh, we don't just like swipe everybody, but I think we will, so that's kind of interesting to think about. Okay, yeah, I think we got this already. 110, that's what effectiveness does for you. 78, okay. So now the pressure is on to get the next one uh, absolutely perfect, because I need that uh, 20 more Aether. Uh, I forgot to put animations again, unfortunately. Uh, so we're tier 25, uh, 6,000th place, which is pretty good uh, for, for, for this. Uh, let's go... Yeah, so I'm at 130, so I do need the 20. I need to make sure I get this. I have four escape ladders, so hopefully we can uh, make something happen there. Um, but yeah, there you go. Uh, a lesson in, like, why a dagger unit is going to be one of your best CC vantage units uh, because of the infantry pull because they can run the infantry pulse. Now, obviously, you can run the infantry pulse, uh, the, inf the pulse smoke, you can run the pulse smoke on uh, any unit that can that can uh, equip it, I think. I mean, hopefully, I think flyers can use it. You can run it on anybody, right? I mean, it's not like it's exclusive to uh, daggers or infantry. Uh, <laughs> at least I don't think it is. Don't quote me on that. Um, maybe I can go check it out. Hold on. Um, but the thing is that since you're running a dagger unit, the they have a built-in minus seven debuff which is very useful. Uh, it's why you run the defense smoke on your, like on Bulky, right? Cause she, you know, she wants that extra damage in. Uh, so just having that already built into the weapon basically allows you to run pulse smoke. Um, of course, some people with broadly fan, I'm not, not, I'm not saying, you know, you should or you shouldn't, um, but some people with broadly fan, of course, they, they run, um, what is it? The uh, other smokes, they run like an attack smoke or a speed smoke um, to get more damage out of the broadly fan. And I think that's great and all, but, um, for me, I'm already getting a minus five on the attack and speed from the Tamari dagger that the, um, that I would just be stacking, like all I'm getting out of that smoke, that entire passive slot is being used up for a minus, for an extra minus two, which I, I mean, obviously I think we can all see this. It's not like, it's not a very good trade off. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Let's, uh, take a look at this pull smoke here. Oops, wrong, wrong button. Uh, what's going on down here? Let's go over here. Cannot use. Okay, so the only person who can use it is um uh, is uh, staff wielders. So yeah, anybody can use this, but um, yeah, it's very good on daggers because they they have the built-in uh thing. Okay, so I have four ladders. I gotta make sure this one's perfect. We've gotta get every uh every pot, every everything here. Uh, I can already tell you this is gonna be kind of annoying to uh to be. Okay, so I'm wondering if if it's obvious if it's if it's like the solution is that obvious like do I just put Felicia here snipe her 
And I guess like proceed to tank everyone else. Hmm. This is an interesting one. I'm trying to figure out what to do here. Hold on. And I do need these pots. I'm thinking about maybe I should just leave because this is going to be really hard. Um, so I think they don't have the range to hit me over here. So I'm going to bring Felicia or somebody's going to come up here and, and take this. And someone's going to barrel down here and take this. I think I'm going to have Felicia go through here. Um, take this one, Dancer, and then hit him. Um, hopefully I do something. Yeah, he's got an insane defense stat. Wow, 42 at uh, not even emerged. See, this is what I was talking about in my other video regarding um, regarding uh, like st unit stats these days. It's like I mean, it's not all of them, right? It's not everybody, but like I mean, what like if I had Felicia's dagger, Felicia's plate, which is supposed to help you against like people who are very like tanky to some degree. It's like how like it's not very useful here because it's like oh I'm hitting the 42 or the the 34 now the 34 is a lot lower, but it's still really high compared to uh, Felicia's like poor stats stat spread. Um, so that's always something that that you know it's interesting to point out. Um, let's see what am I doing here? Let's see. Yeah, I might just leave because this one doesn't seem like something I'm gonna do very well. We've got Kagero with the uh, plus 10. I like this Kagero. Um, I think maybe the plus, you yeah, know, I don't know. It's a very interesting build. But yeah, someone has to come this way. So maybe I can do like a, a, a team team based like pincer attack here. So Felicia comes here, hits him. Um, and that's, she's gonna have to hopefully tank the rest of this. But like, uh, what's her name? The Cav. Uh, Gunthra might come here and then like snipe him off the back end. Um, but unfortunately, I think she can like she'll just stand here and then hit her, so she'll die. Maybe like put her here and then put like a somebody here and then flip her over. Yeah, maybe um, Gunther here, snipe him, and then bring um, what's her name, Altina here, and then just reposition her here. Um, the problem is he's gonna like come out here and just get danced and kill her. Uh, and then she's hopefully I can kill her. Uh, and then, you know, I can do something against this over here, because this is going to be really tough. Uh, Kagero's dart is no joke when you have to take it, like, to the face. Uh, first attack on the counter is going to be reduced by five, half. Uh, what is this? No follow-up. So she can't, I can't deny her follow-up. I can just outspeed her, though, theoretically. And the panic smoke is here. The panic smoke is good, but it's made worse by the fact that like there's so many ways to inflict panic without actually having to like fight anybody. Um, obviously, sudden panic is an easy one, but like a versus this knight is another one, um, or like a panic manner or like uh, uh, reg just regular panic, right? It's the uh, it's in one of the slots. You can like hit someone uh, in a cardinal direction. Um, but yeah, so panic smoke is decent. Just uh, there's so many ways to get panic on people that uh, doesn't involve them attacking them. And if you're attacking them, it's already kind of too late to get the panic on them, right? Like, you want them, theoretically, you want the panics to, like, be there when you when you get on, when you attack them. Um, maybe a, a better way to be, would be, like, kill, or we're not, well, he's probably not going to die is the problem. Uh, but, well, I guess I can wait till this bull tower hits him, kill him, and then dance uh, stand, Felicia here, kill him. Dance Felicia. Stand here, kill him. Um, seems like a pretty good option. Then have, like, her come here and try to hit her and hopefully not die. And then she's going to come hit her and hopefully I don't die from what she's doing. Uh, but that's going to be kind of hard. 65 attack plus the, uh, the 4 here. Well, at the start of combat... Maybe. I think, yeah, that's actually kind of interesting. I wonder if the, the debuff, the, the Broadleaf fan attack bonus 
will be added onto that to help me. Let's go take a look real quick here. Um, during combat. So I don't think so. I think the fact that that one states at the start of combat and this one is during combat, like, I don't think it, uh, for those of you who know your Yu-Gi-Oh knowledge, you gotta make sure you got all your like phases lined up. You know when everything does whatever it does. But I think that might be like the better the better way to do it. Cause at least all right, so at least I can snipe two units and I'll have a chance at like take taking these two. And then he, I don't have to worry about him because he's not ranged, so he can't get to me. Uh, is he a, is he a tanker? No, he's an infantry. That's very interesting. What's his dual skill? That's all right. It's actually it's actually pretty bad considering the fact that uh, do uh, palas is for flyers which already have like the best movement already the best movement type in the game but not only that um, it charges itself every other turn I'm telling you man pal is dumb I don't know who thought that was okay but uh, yeah so that's an interesting let's see um... Yeah, I guess that's my only concern is um, is having because the dancer needs to be here to dance Felicia, so having this dancer here feels kind of exposed. I mean, I guess the the solution is just to like bring, um, yeah, I'm just gonna have to bring uh, what's her name, um, um, Altina here, and then flip her over here, and then hopefully she'll be safer here. I mean, she still doesn't feel very safe, but hopefully she'll be she'll be a lot safer. Um, what else is there? What can I do here? I guess that's really it, honestly. Not a whole lot I can do. Just have to hope I can um, snipe these two units and <laughs> not get not get uh, jobbed um, by this Kagero. Um, yeah, I guess let's uh, let's not uh, dilly or dally there. Get on in there. Um. She gives out plus five attack, which because I have the panic is gonna drop them by five, right? Yeah. Uh, yep. Wait, where is it? This one. It's interesting that like, like this season is very interesting because like in, in light season, I have to check the team beforehand to see if they have any visible buffs because of Ursa. But here it's like it's on my it's on my Tethys, so it's not really that big a deal whether they have them or not. It's like if they have them, great. That sudden panic is uh, putting in work. Uh, if not, then you know, no big deal. Um, let's see. How do I do this right? Because I only have three turns to get up here in this position. Um, Altina needs to be here. Uh, you're not really useful. Ugh, and I have to get these. Uh, I have to get these things also. I don't think I'll be able to manage that, honestly. Okay. Uh, let's go see what they've got. So they have all. Uh, they only have the Tamari. Uh, the Tamari debuffs. Okay, that's fine. Uh, she's at a. What's going on here? Minus seven. Oh, the chill speed. Okay, there you go. So she's got the minus seven and the minus. Um, I might actually, you know what? It, it's kind of interesting. I might maybe uh, need to consider running the. Um, I need more chills. I don't know where, why I don't have full chills on here. I'm kind of actually annoyed by it. Um, she has chill speed, so probably should put chill chill attack here instead of this. Uh, chill attack or maybe like chill defense or res. Yeah, probably the chill defense or res. Uh, who's getting hit by this though? Oh, that's right. Uh, she. Oh man, I'm such an idiot. Uh, she she reduces their uh, attack and defense as well. I can't find who she's doing that to, but she is. Okay, that one. Oh, the lowest defense. Yeah, so she has the lowest defense. So it's gonna be her. Yeah. Okay. She's dropping six. I'm only getting one extra point out of that, which you know, as you can see, is is kind of useless. So hopefully, um, we could do something here. Um. What if I have her hit this, and then her stand here, and then get dancing forward, and then hit this? I think that's what I'm gonna do. Let's get, let's get this going here. Okay. So it's, it's always funny to like do these, like when they, they like 
all right i want to make a point here like doing this stuff i'm doing right now it's like th this isn't necessarily the strategy the strategy was beforehand when i was trying to think of a plan but it's like not the plan is there it's always funny to do this it's like, kind of like a little puzzle like this like she has to end here she has to be able to get to this position basically so she can be here um she has to get to this position so she can be here so i need to end with felicia here uh tethys here and avert and altina here and that's i think that's yeah we can do that like this. So Altina is already in position. Okay, so now okay, now I think I shot myself in the foot here because let's see. Tethys needs to be here. Yep, I think I might have messed that up already. So I'm actually gonna have to use this here. Okay. Okay, I think yeah, I think we're solid. Um uh, I guess you should start uh, making your way this way. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to leave this one. This might be a bunch of wasted effort, unfortunately. Um damn, this is kinda hard. All right, I'm gonna start chipping away at this here. Okay, let's see what happens, and I'll go make sure to turn on animations too. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be really hard. Um, so she can kill him. Okay. I'm gonna leave Altina there. Altina doesn't need to move. Okay, well, hold on. I need to think about this. Obviously, I have to clear these two. Let's see. So, minus four from the Dark Shrine, I think. Yep. That's about it. I don't have enough to be getting hit by the Bright Shrine. I don't know who's getting hit by it, though. Is it you? Yeah, it's you. I need to do something about the fact that my... Uh, the fact that she keeps that she keeps getting hit by this it's not it's not conducive okay so I, yeah I, I need to think about this so i can hit this put tethys here dancer forward to hit that or i i can okay i think I, what i'm gonna do is hit this one Ugh, this is getting kind of annoying. Um, yeah, because if I if I if I have Felicia standing here to hit this, I can come over here and dance her. So Tethys will be here and she'll dance her, and then she'll come back down here. And I'm and now she's out of position. Is the problem? This is where she needs to be. She needs to be in this position here. Hmm. This guy doesn't... Oh, wow. He's got... Uh, let's see. His res is too high. 44. His res is... Where's he getting these buffs from? I don't know where he's getting these buffs from. I don't know why they're not, they're not panicked, obviously, because he's got uh, way too much HP. Um, if I had, see, if I had, the, there you go. That's a, this is a good example of a situation where um, the stats could have made a big difference, right? Um, if I had a third mythic, I'd be at uh, seventy-two, which, as you can see here, equal to or less than one. That's exactly what he's got. Um, so there you go. Um, one situation where uh if i'd end up losing this anyway i'm not gonna i'm not like i'm giving up yet but what can I do? Of if i end up losing this it'll be uh off uh, off the back of that hmm okay. so 
So I'm having another idea. Maybe like because this is this seems like it's gonna be hard to get uh, both of these here. Maybe have her stand here, hit this, and then have Tethys come dancer, have her stand here and hit him, and then you know take from that what I will. Damn it, this is pretty irritating. I'm trying to like, it's hard to figure out what to do here. Okay, so if I Felicia snipe this, I can uh, reposition Tethys here, come over here, Dancer, move her back here. Um, yeah, I guess it's like, I can only, I only get one. I either get this in time for this, because I can arrange this properly, uh, but it'll be after this pops. And after this pops, it's kind of late, because I really like need it to kill him. Yeah. Hmm. Um. Let's just see what happens. Let's do this. Yeah. Of course. I'll think about it. Okay. What am I looking at here? Twenty-seven. That's not very good damage. What am I looking at here? Yep. So she can die. I'm actually now I'm thinking about it. I'm actually kind of tempted to just like end turn with Felicia here, try to snipe somebody. Obviously not him. Wow, why is he? He takes no damage. Thirty nine reduces my attack by three. Defense and plus six minus six attack defense here. That's insane. Uh, my attack stat is fifty plus the ten from him is sixty, and I can't hurt him. I do zero damage <laughs> against sixty. Uh, zero damage with 60 attack. Um, do you imagine how pissed I'd be if, like, I had a, I actually invested into that? Like, you know what I mean? Like, if I, I went out of my way to get a unit with 60 attack and not just like cheated it with Broadleaf and, um, Uh, one of the issues I'm having here now too is like this healing tower is decently well placed. Um, okay. okay, let's let's kind of think about this for a second here. We'll. Uh, <laughs> I do no damage. Funny. Uh, I have to wait till next turn for the um, the panic to hit him. It's kind of interesting. I don't know if I'll be able to kill this guy. With utter certainty. What is your desire? Ready. Yeah. See, so no damage. Doesn't have any debuffs. So I'm only hitting him for fifty to his forty-six plus uh, this. Yep. No damage. Hmm. Of course. This is all a bad idea. I mean, I'm already sort of giving up at this point, but I want to see what I, uh, if I can, what I can do, if anything at all. Let's just see how this goes. Um. Yeah. Not much more to it. Uh, let's see, so what can I do against uh, our buddy here? 39 damage, that is no joke. Uh, noon time for zero. Hit her for 46. And let's see who's next. Sangrier, hit him for 42. Okay, so I think the problem, the, the biggest problem is going to be I'm not going to be able to kill... Uh, Kagero over there. She's gonna hit me with a charged special. Oh wow, I can't believe this. This is crazy. Um, okay, so now I'm 
I'm a little confused as to what to do. <laughs> uh, that was kind of, uh, I took that as like a bit of a guaranteed failure there. That's kind of interesting. Um, okay, 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 okay. Um, Kagero has a Moonbow charged. Hmm. Minus five, minus four, minus four. I don't think she can survive this is the is the problem I'm looking at here. So my biggest issue is going to be uh Kagero here. Um I guess like I said, I kind of took this as a loss already. So I mean let, let's just ride this uh as hard as we can. So what what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand here and kill him, right? Because I can, right? He's dead. Right, then I'm gonna move her out of the way, and then dance Felicia, have her stand here and kill Kagero. Right, so it all hinges on whether or not this one is the trap. I want to believe it's not the. Tra it, uh, I want to believe that this one's not the trap because it's it's closer to all the to the units he had here. Uh, I really think this one's the trap because it's it's like less collateral damage. Uh, but he could be, you know, he could know he could be thinking that as well. So you know, it could be like a double bait. So. It's always important to realize um, what's going on here. Uh, one of the other issues I'm having is like what I could do mainly is maybe put uh, her here and then just have people run into her and see if she can tank it all. Um, but the issue with that is going to be like I can't get all three of these out of the way. Um, Felicia should be fine relatively. He's got like, wow, he's got minus 10 already, 15, 20, 25. He's got minus 25. That's why I have such a huge attack stat against him. Yeah. Um, anyway, what I was saying was... Uh, I can't get everybody out of the way fast enough. And not to mention, he's going to move somewhere uh, and then get danced and then come hit her is what I'm afraid of. Well, there's nothing really... I mean, yeah, he can move like here and then get danced and hit her or something like that. Uh, there's no real reason for him to, but yeah, we'll see. But yeah, I mean, I guess, like I said, uh, we kind of... We're playing with this uh, as a loss, so let's let's write it out as hard as we can. It will be done. Let's see, if I put you here... You have my, trust. my sound is cutting out. I mean, let's, let's, cut, let's get rid of this here. Okay. <sighs> this is not... Yeah, this isn't easy. Um... It's between, so it's between, now that he's he's gone, we have a little more, like, leeway. Uh, and Kagero and Ephraim are just going to straight up move. They're not going to, like, theoretically, they're not going to do anything stupid, is what the point is. Um, this isn't easy. Yeah, I guess, I mean, like I said, we already kind of were, we have four escape ladders. We took this as a loss, basically. Yep, okay. So, we lost this one, I think. Yeah, 28 to 60. Um, we would have lost regardless, I think, because, uh, uh, because, let's see. Do I want to ride this one out now? Like I said, I, we have two escape ladders. Let's, let's just make the most of them. Um. Uh, he, she did 28 damage, which is a lot less than I thought she was going to do. Um, but the, the the good thing about that was that, like... Um, the good thing about that was that, like... Uh, I would have lost anyway. Like, if any other... any other Like, it, that trap on the floor needed to not be the one. Because uh, any other scenario, I would have lost. Because she would have just moved and killed her anyway. Because she had... Like, you know, the, the, the main concern was, like, Oh, did that trap bring me under where, like, where she could kill me? Um, if I hadn't stepped on that trap, I only had 23 health and she would have hit me for 28. So, you know, regardless, I would have lost that one. Uh, but I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Um, usually sometimes it's like that map was decently hard. It wasn't like the hardest thing ever. Uh, but then you find maps kind of like this one where it's like, well, you know, it's not that big a deal anymore. So I think what the plan here is going to be, uh, get Felicia here somehow. And then like probably just push her up here and then hit him. Um... Yeah, probably hit him. Oh, this is actually kind of tricky because uh, she's not. Well, she's not. Yeah, she's not gonna do as much damage. She's only got fifty-five. 
Where's your um, fortress? Yep, plus. Um, hmm. This would be, you know what this team screams of like, uh, how to beat it? Brunya. You could just like bait right here with Brunya or something. And then like, because Brunya, a properly invested in built Brunya can take out Thrasir. Uh, obviously she can, she's not, I mean, if she can fight Thrasir, I mean, these two aren't going to do very much to her. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, she might considering she has the, uh, the blazing, the blazing wind special there. Um, but other than that, like she can, she, she's just like, Brynja is amazing at just fighting mages. Even, you know, she can take down a green mages, uh, is, is, is one of her best advantages there. Um, but yeah, I think um, the, the the biggest problem I have is going to be getting hit by that uh, Veronica. Like, gosh damn, I hate Veronica's on defense so much. That's the other thing. I mean, if so, when I mentioned uh, in the other video, if the meta doesn't become everybody just running special spiral in the in the B slot, it just means that everybody's going to be running um, null C disrupt in the B slot. Um, well, not everybody, right? Because the fact that uh, the B slot is now open to null C disrupt. Veronica will lose her like value to some degree. I mean, she's still going to be very like annoying and, and difficult to deal with, uh, but she will lose a decent amount of value um, thanks to that. You know what I'm thinking now? I'm thinking maybe just um, Felicia here get uh, like Felicia moves up here. Uh, Tethys dances her. Uh, Naga comes here, pushes her forward, to, so she stands here. And then forward in here into this and then kills her and then her special is no longer charged and uh, everybody else is debuffed uh but i'm i am uh oh for one today on guessing these traps so i'm pretty sure this is going to be the trap and i'm just going to die uh so let's just go with a safer route uh we'll take out i'm gonna probably put actually i might go this way put um felicia here take her out dancer and then come over here and take uh her out uh, and that should be that should be enough um, Reinhardt I don't foresee him doing enough damage to really do very much yeah plus five he's not like the most well built either uh, so I think I could survive Reinhardt her she's no longer a threat with her special reduced and getting her hit by her once is not the worst it's getting hit by her once getting those debuffs clearing her debuffs because she's gonna have minus five attack speed and then getting danced for a plus six to everything and then hitting me again um, that's kind of the biggest threat there. Uh, but, let's see. But now that I'm remembering, I do have the panic. or Yeah, the panic. So it might actually just be pertinent to just like, yeah, I mean, maybe not even snipe her. Just like, snipe him and him. Or snipe these two. Um, and then be on my way. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't sound too bad. Um, what is, is this going to help at all? Not really. I mean... They're they're all very squishy, so like it's not like I need this to, to do anything. So let's see if the sound's back on. Nope, it's worse. So much worse. Okay, let's uh yeah let's just get in there. I guess let's start. Uh, thankfully these are right here and the the doom is here, so he can't move. So I can just take these towers when I want. Um, yeah. So I have a plus one Brunya, and I, I was going to talk about this in the video yesterday, but like I said, I I think I'm just going to save it for another video. Um, but. But uh, yeah, like uh, I really want to make a Brunya at some point. Like, I have, I think for those of you who saw my summoning video, I, I summoned Lysithia. So I do have the speed, the low speed uh, res, the low speed res, and I do have the attack speed push for that she has, and I'm gonna, I might put them on her eventually. Um, the problem being that like I really uh, want the speed, the speed res solo on her as well. But or I mean, it, it's it's like. The low speed res is going to be on her no matter what. Anyway, I'll talk about that later. But yeah, like I have her there. Um, let's see. If we sniped this. Yeah, we're just going to take these buildings out one at a time. Uh, that that bolt tower is going to be kind of irritating though. Uh, let's go here. Hmm. Don't know what I'm gonna do with you. 
What is she, 28 res? Yeah, she's nowhere near enough to, like, face tank and Ophelia. Okay. These, uh... Let's see... Those uh those whatever towers, the ones that don't let you move. Oh, they're so irritating, dude. Okay. So minus five, minus six, minus eleven. So this is kinda why I'm not so concerned about it anymore. Um I think maybe I can just uh, free fire from here. Um, and not be too worried about it because even so even this is actually gonna be a lot worse well not a lot worse but like she's gonna hit me once give me the debuffs which aren't that bad I mean it's minus four it's not gonna be like the end of the world but she's gonna if she gets danced she's gonna get a minus six to speed and attack again anyway it'll clear the, the initial minus five but she'll still have the minus six so um, yeah it's not that big a deal Let's see what happens. Um, I think, again, this is where her res stat really comes in handy. Um, let's put you here and then put you here. No, I should put her, I should have put her right here. Okay, so see, seven and seven, even though he attacks twice, it's not that big a deal. Um, and then we'll uh, noon time him. Um, so now she's down to plus two, so that's not too bad. The bigger, the bigger problem, I think, which I've just now realized, is uh, Veronica is probably going to move in a pattern she really shouldn't be moving. She's probably going to hit somebody. Oh, wow. Actually, I guess the Zero is just kind of an idiot. That's kind of interesting. See how much damage we do? 62. And I healed an amount off of that. Uh, I don't know why she didn't move. Oh, I guess she, like, recovered somebody. That's kind of interesting. Um, but basically, you know, they lost off of, like... Um, you know, whatever happened with that. Uh, let's flip you up here. Let's put you here, and then we'll go kill this Veronica. Okay. Okay, so the, this one turned out uh, perfect. Uh, could not have gone better, honestly. Um, I think stupidity from my part, uh, you know, to one side, it's uh, it's pretty good. I think we did, yeah, we did well. So does he have the boots? He does not have the boots. So I can stand here, right? Because he can move here and then attack to this square. Yeah, so I'm still out of harm's way here. <clears throat> Actually, maybe I shouldn't have like uh, smited her up there like that. Uh, let's see. Can I kill him? Probably. Let's see what I have here. Yeah, he's dead. Let's pop this. Uh, and then we'll just hit him with somebody. Okay, so it has to be her. Uh, six and seven, so that's thirteen. So she gets a plus thirteen, so this boosts up to like seventy. So she has seventy attack. Uh, it's funny because I have two broadleaf. I have a broadleaf fan user and a broadleaf tome user, I guess. Uh, but uh, of course, Gunthra's like, can, what's the word like, excessively more uh, useless? Because uh, you can't plus ten her as easily as you can. Um, a Felicia, and also she has elemental weakness and cab weakness. She's just like a big ball of weakness. Um, okay, so we're uh, we're doing good. Um, I have to go do something, but I'll be right back, and we'll finish up the last fifty points, and uh, hopefully we can get into tier twenty-seven with that. Let's see. Uh, I am. Let's let's round that up to two hundred. Well, uh, yeah, okay. Well, let's just add the three, the three twenty, the three twenty something. Uh, so three gets me to four seventy-two. So just off of the 320, if I get, oh, actually, it's going to be reduced, right? Because I'm only doing 50. So actually, I'm not, yeah, I, I'm, I'm out. That kind of sucks. But my rank will be up, so I'll be I'll have a red chair again, which to me, I think is a lot better. <laughs> um, it just means that, like I said, I don't have the, the proper merges 
but at least I can hang with the people up there, right? Like, um, yeah, uh, yeah. So kind of sucks. Don't have the uh, don't have the lift the the lift points to to make it to tier twenty seven. But I'm glad that um, at least I'm competitive with other people in the top three uh, k there. Uh, so yeah, I'll be right back and we'll do we'll finish up this last one. Okay, sorry about that. Um, yeah, here it goes. Uh, and that's actually, <clears throat> funnily enough, I'm just counting my chickens before the hatch, I guess, because um, I'm not even guaranteed to make top 3k. Um, go see. Alright, I'll figure out I'll make top 3k. Um, but I'm not sure. I think it'd be guaranteed if I hired. Um, so 162 is what I got. Let's go see. Yeah, I guess I'm up to like 300. So 162 is 174, two, 274, plus the 3 is 334. So 334 is what we're looking at. Um, missed it by like 70 points. And funnily enough, I, I, I think if you can calculate it all the way back, maybe just having more merges isn't really do very much because... I have a little bit more merges, not even that much more merges, and I still make it in tier 27 on the other season, but I do pretty well uh, all season. So I'm still, it's still kind of weird. I'm not sure what uh, what that means exactly, but yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's just get in there. We got one escape ladder. I think we got this. Oh, I think we got like two escape ladders, actually. Um... Okay, I haven't looked at anything yet in depth, but already this looks like a joke. Um, Spendthrift Bow Norn, was that a plus 10? I, I, like I looked at it immediately, I forgot about it. Hmm. It's an interesting build, I'm not sure I understand it very well. <clears throat> That's just because uh, everything I do is a <clears throat> is a CC vantage build. Like uh, no joke. Every unit that comes out, I'm like, all right, how can I make this into a CC vantage tank? Um, uh, Norn fit that pretty well, so I went with Norn. I liked her. Like, but even like take Micaiah, I was like, all right, how do I fix this res this defense stat so I can like CC vantage with her? <laughs> but um, yeah, so hmm. Okay. So what I have to do, because this isn't so jokey, because again, like these three do a pretty good job of like deterring me. I'm not going this way because of this stuff here. But I think I need to find some way to get here to snipe her. She boosts their uh, cooldowns, and then dance her, and then snap her, and here, yeah. Hit her. Hopefully she dies. She might not actually, considering she's got this uh, and this, and apparently this. So she's stacking on some serious speed there. Um, do they have any visible buffs? No, they do not. No, they don't. Uh, with this here, okay. So yeah, of course, first impressions never um, best to go off of, but yeah. Actually, what I'm starting to think now is maybe like, maybe I should just bait him out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. Where's the healing tower? Right there. So. Hmm. Maybe just stand here. Let her come into me and let her come into me. I'm out of range of her. I'm out of range of her. Out of her range and out of her range, of course. But of course, that um, you have to realize that they're like they'll, they'll start moving and then they'll start getting danced, and I could die very. I could like turn sour very quickly. Um, 
So yeah, that's something to consider there. This is what I'm talking about also. From the, uh, from the last time. This Ophelia is out of the way. So if I hit her, Ophelia is not getting charged. It's not getting um, her whatever uh, boosted, which is good for you, right? Because you don't want your Ophelia to miss the Blazing Thunder because then you're basically, it was like an entirely worst case scenario. Like her, her entire, your entire investment is in her is basically uh, made moot. But she's out of the way. So I think maybe the better choice would be like, Smite her up, put her right here, snipe her, and then boost all their cooldowns, and then basically no one's like a threat anymore, except for her. Um, no visible buffs. <clears throat> Let's see, how many escape letters do I have? Three. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. It's gonna be a very long episode. Um, let's just get in there, see what happens. Okay. Hmm. Uh oh. There you go. Hmm. <clears throat> well, now, how's that for fine? How do you do? That's pretty irritating. Um. I can't kill you, so she's pretty tanky. I can kill you. Ugh. I just want to leave, but I also like to see these um, kind of play out a little bit. But this video is long enough as it is, so I guess we'll just leave. There we go. Again, um, I don't know what causes them to move when, when I'm not in range. But, um, yeah. Sometimes you just get unlucky, I guess. I don't know. Mm. Yep. I mean, I get the idea of the restore trap, but they really shouldn't be moving until um until you actually do something hey this guy's free i think hopefully <laughs> that's kind of interesting i so for those of you you should watch acarus if you want like the full breakdown on on everything aether raids related so i'm about to show you um just how ignorant i am for a lot of these things <clears throat> this is kind of like I don't, again, I don't understand how it works because I didn't pay attention to the video because I didn't really care. But every so often, apparently, you need to like. You need to do this with your. Okay. You need to do this with your team. You need to like just make it free. I'm not entirely sure why. Um. Uh, maybe somebody can enlighten me who actually paid attention to the video and cared enough. <clears throat> but I don't really like what I got from it was it, it's a way to manipulate your placements and and uh, ensure 
um, maximum like point value, right? Like, like I said, it's just like mechanical manipulation of the way the system ranks and all that stuff works. <clears throat> Which personally, I don't really like. When you're gaming the system to this degree, where you're doing stuff like this, it's not something I really care too much for, personally. Like, I don't do it. I mean, for one, it's like, oh, you could just say you're just not good enough to do it. You're just not smart enough. And if you say those things, then I wouldn't necessarily disagree with you, right? But I personally just don't really care too much about, like, all right, how do I find the way to maximize all this nonsense um, to get the most points? Like, playing, I, I don't like playing that type of game, those, those games. I like playing Fire Emblem, so I like to do my matches. I like to um, see how my defense does, and I like to do all those things, like everything that's involved in it, aside from trying to like figure out the the best way to like man maximize points by making sure you lose here on this strategic day, or or making sure you're easy on this strategic day, or or whatever, like all those kinds of things. I don't really like gaming the system in that way. Um, like I said, nothing nothing against people who do or don't. I just don't like care for it. And unfortunately, if you're if you're if you're here for this, like if you're here, to, if you want to make tier twenty-seven consistently, um, then that's probably something you have to do, right? It's why probably I struggle a lot more than most people do to get to tier twenty-seven. Uh, it's because of things like this, right? But, um, but yeah, so it's, it's it's important to realize, you know, for your perspective, you know, what do you like? Like, do you want do you want to earn the tier twenty-seven by straight up just like being as good as possible, or do you want to earn it by sort of taking these shortcuts by like you know changing numbers and and fixing your your ratios or all these other things? Um, like I said, they're not, it's not necessarily bad. There's a skill and strategy that goes along with that. Um, but you know, it's, it's something to consider, right? Like something to consider. It's kind of like, uh, for those of you who play, who watch sports or anything, right? If you watch soccer, some players, like really good players, I don't, I can't remember, like maybe Messi has said it or, um, David Beckham or something. Um, but some of the, some some soccer players, some very good soccer players, tend to say that they have to play more carefully, um, because people will will be more aggressive towards them. Like they're willing to take a red card, you know, and get, and be taken out of the game or maybe le several games as well later, uh, in order to like hurt these better players so that at least they take them out, right? So losing a bad a bad player and taking away one of the best players in the game is a good trade, right? So as as those players, you have to kind of play more carefully. So. That's kind of the point I want to make here. So it's somewhat analogous. I mean, you're not really hurting people. You're not really like doing that. But like, those people who are doing that are working on strategy outside of soccer. They're working on game politics. They're working on game uh, like our outside rules, and they're not focusing on just getting better at playing the soccer game. And that's kind of what I what I want to emphasize. What I like to emphasize here, and I like to emphasize in all my games is, I don't value like, right, outside elements like that like 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 what i'm talking about here with these weird numbers games and all these things you have to kind of like do i prefer to just be good at the game and if i make it to tier 27 it wasn't because um you know i i, I manipulated some numbers or some rng or, or i did something like that it was because i i played the game the best i could i played the best soccer i could um but yeah so like i said that's, that's just the way i look at it and, it and it's sort of like obviously you can tell it's a little more annoying of a journey to do to take every time um <clears throat> but yeah, it's just something that like for it's something it's food for thought. It's something for a lot of you out there to consider of like, what do you want to get out of this game? Do you care for the tier twenty seven prestige just because it's the number tier twenty seven, or do you care um, because it's the highest number, or do you care more because of what it means that you got there and you didn't you know take shortcuts along the way? And that's kind of what um, <clears throat> what I like to emphasize on, on on my channel to some degree, right? Uh, I try best I can, but I'm sure like I'm sure there's things that I do that are sort of shortcutty. Um, but that's, you know, uh, it, it'll take some time to look at those things and see what, why I'm doing them and see where I'm going wrong there and, and what, what I can rectify to make sure I'm just playing the game as best as possible. Uh, but yeah, so let's, um, let's go in there. This might not actually be a joke after all too. I don't have high hopes for, uh, how good this is going to be for them, but I think my, my plan right now is just, um, let's put you here. It's just to smite her up one two and then one here hit her and um yeah just like let everything fall as it may i guess he's gonna hit me she's gonna hit me and that's about it everything else is not and they're both gonna be hit by the uh broadly fan effect so uh i don't know just, let's just get in there i guess <clears throat> um they don't have a healing tower it might be pertinent to actually just wait till that goes off 
Again, there's like no real reason to be cocky, even though I have the tower advantage. Ugh, I really just want to go in there and maybe get this over with, I guess. Um, and I guess I apologize to those of you out there. I'm sorry that uh, this... Like, the, the escape ladder is a good example of where I'm sort of cheating, right? It's like, it's not necessarily cheating, it's there. Like, the escape ladder serves a function the same way the bolt tower does, the healing tower, and it, it does that stuff. But it's hard to deny that it's not the same, it's not similar to what they're doing here by, like, just making, you know, free teams or whatever, right? Um, so something to consider, something, um, those of you to, 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 an, to, take a, to take a look at how I, I you know, if, whether I practice what I preach or whatnot, or whether you feel um, I am, you know, you know justified in, in, in certain things that I say. So, you know, something to keep in mind, I just, I, I remembered it now, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's, that's kind of interesting to think about. Uh, in this case, I think I do want the plus six attack on her because I don't have any panic abilities except for oh she has a panic smoke. Um, yeah, let's actually not do that. Let's get you out of the way here. Um, but yeah, like I really should be waiting till the panic tower hits. But um, well, this is already kind of free, so let's just see if I can uh, do anything here. Or not the panic tower, the uh, bolt tower. Um, <clears throat> so of course she's gonna die, but she's not the she's not really the um, the, the the biggest threat here. Okay, so Alphonse is going to come hit me. Uh, let's do... Can she... He's going to hit me. That's very interesting. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so like I've got minus four to everything. Basically, she took off the fortress buffs. Uh, so I'm back to normal uh, for her. Uh, you know, actually what I'm going to do here... Let's boost you up and get those uh, those going there. <clears throat> and I, I mean, I could take these these aether pots, but uh, really no real reason to. Um, also, because I think this might be so. I think they put the aether pots here because they want you to take them for some reason. That might have to do something with the strategy. Like I said, I didn't pay attention to that video, so <laughs> you can tell me. Um, but it might have something to do with the strategy where you have to take these. I don't know if these affect. Um, this might, I mean, I don't know if these affect anything, right? Like. Like your your how much loss, how much lift you take, how much lift loss you take. Uh, but if if these are if this part of it, they, the reason they put them forward is because they want me to take them so easily, then I'm just not going to take them because for one, I don't need them, and two, I, I love to irritate whoever's doing um, <clears throat> this kind of stuff. At least personally, anyway. Um, but yeah, so let's uh, let's just get let's just get on with it. Let's see what happens. Yeah, hopefully uh, whoever set this up like this. Oh, I wasn't even going to get the bolt tower because of the the um, the Duma there. So there you go. <clears throat> okay, it's actually kind of scary because let's see, 40s or 26. It's actually kind of scary though because now, oh, she only does two damage to Um, I was just worried about what kind of damage she'd be doing, but she doesn't even have the um, the, what's it called? Okay, so let's see. Can I kill you? No, I can't. Um, is anybody gonna hit her? No, they're not. Okay, cool. What's this do? Oh, he's not gonna die anymore. Bummer. <clears throat> okay, I have it. I have it. Let's pop this and then slide you up here. And then uh, hit you. Oh, um, I might die actually. <clears throat> uh oh, this is bad. Uh, oops. That was a big oops on my part. Ugh, I'm such an idiot. I can't believe I just threw this away like this. 13 by 2. Oh, I hit her. Okay, so he's gonna. I'm gonna hit her one. Hit him once, and he's gonna die. Okay, barely. <clears throat> that was stupid. I shouldn't have moved her. Moved her there. I forgot. Like he could still just hit me there. I was like, oop. Um, but yeah, there you go. I almost, I almost lost the red chair uh, on an easy win um, <clears throat> because of that. So of course I'm missing by 66 again. I, I doubt that having more merges, like ha I doubt having as many merges as I do on my light season, would have made a difference. Is, is the thing. Uh, of course, having more light mer uh, merges in general would help. Just like I said, I don't think it would have. If I had as many, like if I had a bunch, right? Like like most people should, uh, I probably would have. But if I had as much as like a light, I don't think it would have made that much of a difference. Um, I got five aether from something, even though I didn't pop any of their. Uh, Oh, I did. I had to pop one. Ah, well, whatever. That's fine. Um, yeah, so we made it into the top 3K, which is uh, arguably, I think, arguably... Eh. 
which I think is arguably better uh, than just hitting tier 27. Um, so there you go, another red chair, uh, solid. Um, let's take a look at the difference between, so I get five more grails, which are very useful. Uh, these feathers, nobody cares about these feathers. And four more um, papers. Let's go take a look, um, I shouldn't have gone there. Let's go take a look at the tier. So, so there you go, getting into top 3K is a lot better than getting into tier 27, because I only get one extra feather, five more aether, and then like one, one extra feather and then one extra one extra flower and one extra um, grail so all in all i guess uh my astra season has now become more uh successful and more uh well more profitable maybe not more successful because i can't get into tier 27 but it's definitely more profitable in the long run uh so yeah that's that uh you know good luck on uh your guys' uh, aether adventures this this season um Looking forward to building up some more units so we can have more uh, varied teams on my Aether offense team. Like I said, there was one team where it was so much magical threat that maybe I could have just probably Brunyed it. Um, unfortunately, my Brunya is like plus one only. Uh, and, and plus one Brunya isn't too bad. You can use her, but you really want to like, I don't know. I, I really hate using units when they're not like, all right, they're finished. Um, it just feels bad. I always feel like I'm always sitting there like, oh, she could have had this or or she could be she could be maxed out here. She could have these kind of stats and... Uh, <clears throat> I'd rather not. <clears throat> I'd rather not sit there and uh, complain about that all day. So, um, that's that's what it, it is. What it is. Um, yeah, I don't know about this weird thing. Uh, but yeah, that's it. So, you know, good luck, I guess.